Okay, so welcome back to the Upload TV and thank you for joining the Average Golfer. More product testing. It's been Mizuno day so far. I've already had a look at the 919 Hot Metal and it's now time to look at the first of the Forge set. It is the 919 Forged. Let's throw some images up straight away and get talking about how this thing looks because I've mentioned in the Hot Metal being probably the best game improvement iron market, uh, iron that I've seen on the market so far and it has to be said, the forged doesn't sort of uh, it doesn't let Mizuno down in any way in terms of that benchmark on how good they manage to produce their sets of irons because they look absolutely stunning I'm a big fan of this very much a minimalistic look in terms of the markings on the club a little bit of chrome um, high gloss and then a little bit of a matte chrome finish as well and the two of them look absolutely superb but that's how they look the question is how do they play and how do they play in the hands of the average golfer so we're talking about there's been a change in the milling process which again is impacting on the ball speeds that are coming across the whole of the club face in this 919 forged they're again talking about faster ball speeds across the face but coupled with some great feeling with the forged head good spin numbers workability is mentioned uh, when you start to get to this level of club whether or not that's something that the average golfer should be considering i'm not quite so sure we're certainly happy with straight never mind working a ball from left to right or right to left um, in terms of let's get some images up on screen now as to how this club looks behind the golf ball now for me it's much more in line with what i like to see so again that top line becomes a lot lot thinner the club face itself starts to be a little bit more compact these aren't overly small blade looking clubs by any stretch of the imagination but it is a lot more compact on the eye sat behind the ball obviously the sole becomes a little bit uh, more refined as well i don't know what i mentioned 30 degrees worth of loft so getting up towards the traditional end although still fairly strong so now all that remains to be seen is how does this thing perform there's only one way to do that and that's it some golf balls now, I normally say let's move camera but I've started off with a different camera position um, so let's get straight into it we've got TP5 tailor-made balls for the test just need a few good shots I start I mean straight away the big noticeable difference and what you'd expect not yet forge club uh, this morning I've gone straight from the I think it's the chrome alloy I can't quite uh, know how you say that word in the hot metal and with the first shot here with the forge there is a noticeable difference in sound which resonates in uh, in ultimately in feel decent shot to start That's not too bad either. Straight away again, something very visible because I've gone straight from the 919, 30 degree 79 into the 30 degree, uh, 32 degree of the uh, forge. Massive difference in uh, ball flight, although it's probably only a couple of degrees in terms of uh, what we see in dry ball data. It's very, very visible uh, in terms of peak height. Not a bad start, but we'll carry on. We'll hit quite a few more shots. Let's see if we can get 10 decent shots in the bag and get a bit of a broader look at numbers. Move that camera, sit back down, and I'll give you my overall opinion on the 919 Forged. Right, so that's golf balls here. We've had a look at this thing in a dress. We've talked about how it looks, and now we're going to talk about how it performs in the hands of the average golfer. So I think let's get straight stuck into some dry ball data and uh, see what I achieve when we uh, want to continue to hit some golf balls. So numbers in front of you now. Um, so pretty much we've got 32 degrees worth of loft, a launching at 20, almost 21 degrees, um, spin 5,100, carrying at 155, descent angle at 42, and I mentioned that for a reason, and ball speeds of 110. Um, now then, I think a couple of points to mention. Uh, I've made these reviews on the both, on, on the three, sorry, 919 clubs, I've made these 
very, very brief in my evaluation because I think that for me, the notable thing is that I'm not seeing huge changes from the old set of clubs that came out, the, the predecessor. Um, but having said that, the predecessor was a very, very good set of irons. So in all three, um, hot metal, forge and tour, they were superb. So how do you make superb even better? It's very, very difficult. So for me, it's kind of, I'm almost doubling doing the review that I did um, two years ago. It's very much, it hasn't changed that greatly for me and my opinion hasn't changed, but that's not a bad thing. They're very, very good clubs, but the bottom line is, if you own a set of these already, I do not see for one reason why you'd possibly look at changing, to be quite honest with you, other than maybe your forged heads have got a little bit knocked about and you're, you're ready for a change, I don't know. Um, but they do everything they should do. Again, I, I have to say this on every video, my spin number is always low, uh, so 5,100 with a 32 degree set. It's okay, I've achieved a lot better with other irons, but like I said, I never really get really high in the number on spin, especially as with these numbers, I was hitting more of them back to my original sort of uh, right to left shot. Um, ball speed's where they, where they expected to be, launch angle was where it's expected to be, and at 155 carry again, back down sort of traditional numbers is where the carry is expected to be. It's consistent performer, it's consistent with spin, it's consistent with launch, it looks superb, it feels superb. It is superb, they are very, very good irons. The negative, if it is a negative, is that they are not greatly different than the predecessor, and that would be how I would sum these clubs up. So if you don't own the predecessor, if you've got an old set of forged irons, and if you like the Mizuno brand, uh, then these are well worth a look. If you do own the predecessor, then I would suggest you sit tight because there ain't no major differences, but that's not a negative, it's just an observation. Anyway, as ever, hit the thumbs up, hit the thumbs down, whichever one it is that you think of this video, comment down below. Subscribe if you don't already. Do all them things that I have to continually repeat, which drive me up the bleeding wall, and no doubt do you as well. But what I will say is, and I don't mind saying this bit, thanks for watching and uh, stick around because I'm about to do my evaluation of the Mizuno Tour 919 iron.